Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. And it is finally that time of year. I don't know what the weather is like where you're at, but it kind of feels like spring over here. So what a great way to kick off this season with a spring home decor haul. I do have quite a bit of things I've collected from very random places. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I picked up were these beautiful, beautiful stems. By the way, we're gonna start off with the stems, the greenery, because that's just my favorite part of spring decor is just bringing greenery and life back into our home. So starting off with this is a beautiful, beautiful lifelike stem. These are actually two stems. These are from a local grocery store. These are from Fred Meyer. So if you have a Fred Meyer near you, you guys, I find that stems at Fred Meyer are so much more cheaper than at Hobby Lobby, even with the Hobby Lobby discount. So that is an awesome tip for you guys. But these are gorgeous. They really look lifelike. And I just bought two of them. I like the spruce look that they have. And I think it'll be very beautiful in a large, large vase. All right. Another stem I got at Fred Meyer was this beautiful, beautiful little piece. I just got one. And I think if you put it like in a single skinny vase, let it just kind of droop over. It's so beautiful. I love the green here. I love that it's not like bright green. It just kind of says, hey, it's spring. We're blooming over here. And it's just such a cute, minimal little piece to add to any sort of vase. All right. So these two stems are, you guessed it, from Fred Meyer. It's this beautiful leaf. I wish I knew the names of these, but I don't. I'm sorry. And then this. I mean, what says spring more than this stem right here? But I figured on its own, they're kind of, you know, not, not it. But if I intertwine them like this, oh my word, I think that is so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my um, living room, actually. I have a very tall vase that I've thrifted that I shared with you guys. And I think it's going to look so beautiful there on my little credenza and I just love these little buds. If you know the names of these, leave them down below. All right, and the last stems that I picked up at Fred Meyer were these beautiful, beautiful little berry stems. I don't know if they're berries or flowers, but I just figured these would be such a beautiful transition from winter to spring. I mean, these would honestly even look really beautiful in the winter time. So I just have a little gold base that I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in and it's just, like I said, such a nice transition into the warmer weather. I don't usually go to Walmart to buy my florals or anything like that, but I went by their section of florals and I saw this beautiful eucalyptus and what I really loved about this is the muted greens and I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little, little white berries and I don't know about you guys, but anything that has little white berries to me springs screams spring so this would be very very cute and this is all one bundle and I think this was like $4.99 so you can't beat that this is pretty full you can you know cut off stems if you need to but I'm just gonna leave it as is plop it into like a cute white vase and it's gonna look so so darling and while I was at Walmart looking around I found this cute little succulent and this is fake I don't own any real plants in my home because I end up killing them somehow but what I loved about this is just the simple neutral look. It comes in, in this beautiful um, concrete vase. It comes in a beautiful concrete vase. And I just really love this. I was going to put this in my kitchen on a tray next to my soap. I just think it's such a fun way to kind of spruce up your little nooks that you can't really fit big decors in. All right, next little greenery that I found was at Joanne and these were on sale. And they are these beautiful, beautiful stems. These are actually made from like, not Velcro, some kind of like a paper material, but they are so darling. I think I've seen these in Hobby Lobby also. So you might be able to find these in Hobby Lobby, but here I have three stems and I think putting them in a vase is so beautiful. I love how they kind of droop down. It just looks so effortless, which I am all about. And of course we can't forget about Hobby Lobby because who doesn't like Hobby Lobby? So I went to Hobby Lobby in search of two little pieces and it was these beautiful baby breaths. These are white and they're just so elegant, so feminine. I've already cut mine down to fit in a little vase, but these would actually be really beautiful even in the winter time, fall, spring, like 
any time of year, white flowers, I feel like, are so beautiful. And the next thing I went to Hobby Lobby for were these beautiful, beautiful flowers. These remind me of like mountain flowers, as if I went to the mountains and picked some flowers and they're not perfect, they're just kind of wildlife-like, which I really, really loved. I got mine in just white. There are many, many different colors to choose from, but I feel like this is such a beautiful, also transition to spring and summertime. It's just so minimal and so sprouts, which I really, really love. Okay, so now we're done with the stems. Let's talk about vases. I already own so many vases, I do not need more, but when I was at Fred Meyer, I found this beautiful, beautiful piece right here, and she is beautiful. She was on sale, she was very cheap, and I just love the simple, minimal black. I do decorate with black accents throughout my home, and I feel like putting some greenery up here would just make this look so, so darling and so, so cute. Another thing I got at Fred Meyer, oh my goodness, you guys, I did not mean this to be a Fred Meyer haul, but it just so happens it had really, really awesome stuff. This little piece right here is glass. It's see-through. It has the little gold detail on it. And I think I got this for like 6 or $5. It was on sale in the clearance section. And again, putting some greenery, some stems with some white um, flowers. I think is very very beautiful for spring and summer the next thing i found was this white tray and it's nothing fancy nothing it's very simple very white very plain which is everything that i'm about but i was gonna go ahead and put this on my in my kitchen put my soap in here maybe that cute little succulent that i talked about and i feel like when you have a place to hold your soaps and your sponges it just creates such a more cleaner look in your kitchen and I just love how simple and clean it is. Another thing I found at Home Goods was this beautiful, beautiful book and how gorgeous is this, you guys? This looks like it's wood, but it's not. I think it's some kind of rock. I don't know. It is very heavy. It is very beautiful. I paid $16 for this. To me, that is just insane, but it was just calling my name and I had to get it. And I think it styled with some books or even just on top of books as a you know decor piece. It's just so beautiful, I love it. My little toddler says it's a shark fin, so we can call it a shark fin if you want, but nonetheless, the colors are very neutral. They look very, very good in my home, and I am just living for this very unique little piece. And speaking of home goods, I got two more things. I have this beautiful, beautiful tray where you can put your trinkets on, a candle on. I mean, you can't go wrong with a wooden tray. I feel like putting anything on a tray makes it look that much more organized and that much more beautiful. So I got this little guy. It's very beautiful, very warm. I love this color wood. Sometimes wood can have a yellow tone to it, which I am not a fan of at all but I feel like this has the perfect warmth, perfect neutral to match my home. And another thing that I picked up at Home Goods was this beautiful candle and I've already started lighting it up. Mm. It's just the perfect spring, it's beautiful. I love this, the shape of this jar. I love that the candle itself is white, like we need all of our neutrals up in here and when I burn this, I can put, I don't know, my kids' M&Ms in here or I can put my pens and papers in here. So, papers just pens in here but when I buy candle jars I always make sure that they are cute so that I can repurpose and reuse them for other items in my home and since we're on the topic of candles I have two more candles that I picked up I love me candles I love when they look good I love when they smell good so this one right here is from Hobby Lobby I picked this up first of all oh my goodness it smells amazing if you guys ever bought this candle you know the smell is just so perfect for spring and summer but this is the sugar rose one and i don't know if you can tell the detail here on this candle oh my goodness so adorable again black and white neutral goes with the flow and another candle i got was actually at big lots and i also love the simplicity of this candle the wooden top i can when i'm done burning this i can always reuse it and it's just gonna go so well with my home decor and it smells good which is also a bonus so these were all the items that i've purchased new this year for spring but let's talk about some items that i repurposed you know to give them new life i have these candle holders right here but these are just regular candle holders from hobby lobby they used to look black something like this and 
What I'm trying to do more in my home decor is to incorporate more golds, more warmer tones because my home is pretty gray, black, you know, all of those cool tones. So I didn't want to go out and buy new candle holders. So what I did is I just spray painted mine and I roughly spray painted them. As you can see, they're not perfect. There is black showing through, but I feel like the fact that the black is showing through, it kind of gives it more character and uh, this really does warm up my living room. So if your living room looks a little cold, try spray painting some items. This beautiful gold color, it's really gonna add a lot of warmth. So another item that I spray painted gold that used to be black is my beautiful, beautiful candle holders. So they just go on the wall like this and you stick your candle holders. They were in my hallway and it just felt very cold my hallway. It was just not it. So I just did the same thing. I went ahead and briefly spray painted it gold and it still has black seeping through which I honestly really really love. It gives it like a three-dimensional feel to it. But to spray paint them I used this Rust-Oleum spray paint and I love this gold. It's not like the yellow gold. It gives you like this bronzy beautiful gold which is really really in right now. So if you don't want to go ahead and spend your money on um, decor that's this color, you can just go ahead and always spray paint it. That is always such an easy way to go. And certainly last but not least, uh, I have already owned this tray, but it used to be uh, this orangey color and it was just not looking good. On my credenza by my TV, it was just clashing. It wasn't working. So I just sanded this down. I whitewashed it and now it looks so good. So yeah, you guys, if you have anything that you can repurpose, repaint, spray paint, oh my goodness, you can spray paint just about anything nowadays. It is such a great way to update your home decor without spending any extra money. All right, and the last item, I think I said that about the last couple items, but this is the last item. I picked up these beautiful, beautiful linen curtains from Amazon. The texture on here is so beautiful. These are white curtains. I will be hanging them in my living room to kind of refresh it for spring. And these are so darling. Putting curtains up in your home really, really elevates your home, makes your home look elegant. And I love these specific curtains is because they hang on these little tiny little hooks right here, which I think is so cute and so different than, you know, original curtains. But yeah, this is going to really brighten up my living room and make it say, Hello, it's spring and summer over here. So that is it, you guys, for my spring home decor haul. It was a whole bunch of randomness, but like I said before, I already own so many things from previous years and some things I just needed to spray paint, paint over, make it good as new. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Next couple of videos will be spring cleans and decorates with me. So if you need any motivation to or any inspiration to decorate your home for spring, I got you covered. So with all that being said, I will see you next Monday. Bye.